Hey everybody, welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking your time for tuning in to this video. A Houston man who was the first person to be charged with an illegal bump stock had his charges dropped. Let's dive into the story. Let's begin the video with a little bit of backstory about bump stocks. Between 2008 and 2017, the ATF issued 10 letter rulings that classified bump stocks as a firearm part, which are unregulated. On October 1st, 2017, a lone gunman fired a barrage of bullets from the 32nd floor of a Las Vegas hotel. 59 people were killed and at least 527 others were injured. Investigators found 23 firearms in the shooter's room at Mandalay Bay, and some of them had bump stocks attached to them, and 19 more at his home. On February 20, 2018, President Trump instructed the ATF to issue regulations to treat bump stocks as machine guns. On March 23, 2018, the Department of Justice announced a plan to change the regulatory status of bump stocks. The proposed change would reclassify bump stocks as machine guns and effectively ban the devices in the United States under existing federal law. A notice of proposed rulemaking was issued by the ATF on March 29, 2018 and open to the public comments. On December 18, 2018, the final regulation to ban bump stocks was issued by the Department of Justice and published in the Federal Register on December 26. The ban went into effect on March 26, 2019, by which owners of bump stocks were required to destroy them or surrender them to the ATF, punishable by 10 years imprisonment and $250,000 fine. If you decided to destroy your bump stock instead of turning it into the ATF, the ATF even released destruction instructions on how to properly destroy your bump stock. Fort Worth-based retailer RW Arms turned in their entire inventory of bump stocks to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF, on Tuesday, March 26, 2019, to be destroyed in compliance with the bump stock ban. RW Arms transferred 73,000 bump stocks to American Shredder in Fort Worth, Texas, to be shredded and recycled under supervision of the ATF. Now we fast forward to August of 2019. A federal grand jury has indicted a 43-year-old Houston man on four counts of firearms violations, including possession of a machine gun, specifically a bump stock. The four-count indictment alleges Aji Dahingra, which I could not find a picture of, possessed a machine gun, made two materially false statements in the acquisition of two firearms, and unlawfully possessed a firearm after having been adjudicated as a mental defective or who had been committed to a mental institution. According to court records, on or about August 17, 2019, Dehingra called the George Bush Foundation and left a concerning message. Authorities discovered Dehingra had previously been committed to a mental institution. As such, he is prohibited by federal law of possessing a firearm or ammunition. Authorities obtained a search warrant, which allegedly resulted in the discovery of a Glock pistol, a Colt rifle with a buttstock, and 277 rounds of 9mm ammunition. According to the ATF, this is the first case filed in Texas and what is believed to be the first nationwide involving illegal possession of bump stocks since the law was implemented in March 2019. And this brings us to November 18th, 2020. And I think a lot of us missed this because of what went on with the election. And I haven't been able to find any videos on YouTube about this. A federal prosecutor appears to have gotten cold feet right before the trial began in the face of an ATF expert prepared to testify that bump stocks do not a machine gun make, the prosecutor withdrew the bump stock possession charge, proceeding only with the charges facing less resistance. Senior U.S. District Judge Gary H. Miller convicted Ajay Dehingra on three remaining counts that he lied when he purchased a handgun, rifle, and ammunition, and illegally possessed a weapon as a person who had been committed for mental illness. Rick Vasquez, a retired ATF agent and firearms expert, would have told the court the bump stock did not meet the statutory definition of a machine gun. The prosecution dismissed the case 
because the government couldn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt the bump stock was a machine gun. Perhaps that's because the bump stock is not a machine gun, it's just an accessory. I'm pretty sure that state prosecutor dropped the charges because a former ATF agent Vasquez was going to testify that bump stocks are not machine guns. And if they would have let him testify to that, that would have set a precedent for any other cases coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave any comments and please subscribe to the channel too as well. And as always, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.